Read it, read it out loud right away. Dear Mommy, welcome to your Christmas treasure hunt. You are looking for three presents. With each present, you will receive a, a new clue. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> this is mom. <laughs> your first present is hidden with Christmas. And then there's some blanks. Have fun. We love you. This gift resembles you. Soft and warm. Goes with almost anything. And is sexy as hell. Okay, your first present is, is hidden with Christmas. We're not allowed to help, so you're on your own. Oh, I thought we. Oh, I wish we could only give her one. I think I want to go to Julie's present. <laughs> Keep going. I don't know. Give me a clue. There's, there's a uh, T in there. Second letter is a T. I need a freaking pen. Second letter is a T. Christmas stuff. Is that it? Yes. Well, now, where is that at? It's hidden with Christmas stuff. Probably right here. It's not right here. Is it in our bedroom? Mm. Am I gonna... We can't help you. Am I gonna Which show one? something that doesn't need to be shown right now? No. If I go in our bedroom and look? No. Okay. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> yes, no, I can't right now. Where's the Christmas stuff? Obviously not in here. It's not in here. Okay, get out. Because the other stuff is on hit is not hidden. All right. It is. Here's the other clue. Our Christmas stuff that we don't have out right now. Oh, that's in which bedroom is it? We can't tell you. Okay, I'm going to go back out to the living room before I... <clears throat> the video's already three minutes. All right. Yeah, that is You're amazing. I knew you would find it. Your third gift will have you daydreaming while you look into the stars. But first you have to figure out where your second gift is. This gift is in the professor's office, somewhere close to his desk. This present is to resemble our eternal connection to you, linked like a chain unable to be broken from your voice. Okay, go ahead and open this professor's. one real quick. is in the professor's office somewhere close to his desk. Well, what is the professor's office? <laughs> well, that could be like an office-y, but I think it's in Denyon's room. Professor's office close to his desk. Your room is such a mess. Anything that's hidden in here is never going to be found. <laughs> well, you can offer it's fairly easy to see. Okay, is it in here? Yes. Can I just give her a hint because my room's so messy? Yeah, give me a hint because your room is a disaster. It's not on the floor. Close to his desk. Well, I'd love to watch the night sky out of it. <laughs> it's in here. I'm looking for the stars. 
I can see it clearly from right here. Is it on your desk? Yeah. Tanyan, watch out. Let mom in there. Ooh, I wonder if mom found it. No, I haven't found it. <laughs> Is it wrapped? Lean over a little bit more. See it, mom? <laughs> no, I don't see it. Lean over a little bit more. <laughs> Lean down a little bit more. I look around. Can you see it? It's not on the desk. Uh, oh, it's way back there. Yeah, <laughs> you see it? How do you get it? Well, oh, no. Jack can find a way to get it back uh, there. There's some chips right there. You boys are going to be cleaning your rooms tomorrow. Yeah, we were doing it. <laughs> oh, room. It's yeah, it's a death trap in there. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> What's the matter? All right. Wow, just like the great hunter Orion. Orion. Orion, you always get what you set your mind to. We don't have enough memory on a phone, so we have to stop filming. That's okay. Oh, that's okay. Dad's got it. <laughs> you little smarty pants, you never cease to amaze. First present resembles you. The second one resembles our connection wrapped in love. The third one is about your eternal peace or place. Bright and beautiful, shiny and hard set, something all of mankind admires. Amazement for amazement forever. Your last present will disappoint <laughs> by the looks of it. Don't be fooled. Although it is large in size, it is small in stature. It sits under where the angel is supposed to be. Good luck, my love. Show me. The connections of two separate things connected together eternally. You can make mom cry. I saw mom cry before. So have I. Hmm. I won't feel softly. I'm so soft. <clears throat> nope. Okay. Mom. It sits under where the angel is supposed to be. Uh, on the tree? Uh, we don't. Mm -hmm. Is the angel up there? We don't know. <laughs> Open this one first. Read the other one real quick. No, it's not tickets to a cruise. <laughs> it's bigger than that. More important than time. Are you ready for it? Open it and find out. Hurry, because holding this in for as long as I have is killing me. No, stop reading. Just open it. Open this one second. Good. <laughs> Mom, you should have stopped reading. <laughs> Mom, you should have stopped reading. <laughs> This is it, <clears throat> your last present. Kind of sad it's over already. It was fun, but here it is. You have your very own star named after you. Mommy. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna eat you. It's wait. Can I say anything? Yeah. 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 It is a super giant that shines 375,000 times brighter than our sun, just like you. The proof is here. We love you and we'll keep your close forever endeavor. Shine bright, our personal star. Love your boys. I love that to cry. I love that to stay shining. I bet mom is crying. The star certificate, the star with the coordinates, whatever that says, was successfully entered into the star naming registry, Brooke Ann Peacock. This star was named for one of the strongest and most beautiful women around. Her passion and drive is well known for her, by her family, friends, and her community. She will forever remain in our hearts of those countless lives she touched. Now she will forever reside in the heavens for all to see and admire. Shine bright. The center star on Orion's belt.